Hi, this is Joan Marie Domino. Welcome to my channel. These rocks in front of me are rocks that I actually decoupage using real flowers. These are real pansies. And I did these rocks three years ago and I did a video that went along with it. I didn't release the video because I wasn't sure if they were going to hold up. Well, more than half of them did. This is them right here. So I'm going to play that video now so you can see exactly how I did it. I just want you to keep in mind this was three years ago and our video equipment has gotten better. Okay, enjoy. Hi, this is Jo Marie Domino. Welcome to my channel. Look how pretty these pansies are. I'm going to show you how you can take these pansies and decoupage them onto a rock just like that. I looked around for different flowers. Pansies seem to be the very, very best flower you can use to press because they're already kind of flat. Now let me show you how I did it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look over all the flowers and you want to pick out some of the very nicest ones. You know, the pansy is so perfect for pressing and I'm saying pressing and not drying because all I really want to do is get this pansy as flat as possible because that's what makes them lie so beautifully on top of the rock. So what you want to do is turn the flower over and you can see there's like little leaves back there. Clip all of those leaves off. I don't know, maybe there's four or five, but take them all off. And I also want you to remove the stem. You're going to remove the stem as close as possible, but without cutting into the flower, just like that. Let me show you now how I press them. I took some ordinary tissue paper. Um, it happened to be cut to letter size eight and a half by 11, and I folded it in half. I took the pansies and I turned them upside down just like that. And I put several on each sheet, depending upon, you know, how big the flowers were. I put them inside of really thick books and I left maybe 60 sheets or so between each set. And I left them in the books for about 10 days because remember, I'm not looking to dry these out. I'm only looking to press them as flat as I can. Now, one tip I'm going to give you that I found worked the best is to keep all the same size flowers together when you're pressing them. Just, just worked out better when I was experimenting. It just worked out better that way. So here's some bigger ones. Look how pretty those are. And you know, don't pick your rocks until they're flattened because look how big that one came out. I had to find a big rock, but wow, that is so pretty. So here's some yellow ones too. Look at them. They're so pretty and they look so good on rocks and they look really good on natural rocks. And you know, Whoops! <laughs> Make sure you keep them um, inside the books until you're just about ready to decoupage them. And here are some other ones I've already gotten ready to put on. And as you can see, you can use leaves as well. Let's put a pansy onto a rock. So I picked a rock, it's a good size, and I painted it yellow. I thought it went really nice with this orangey pansy. And look how flat that is. I'm telling you, it is key to get those flowers as flat as you possibly can. That's why I like removing all the little leaves and the stems off the back. All right, so I'm just taking some Mod Podge and I'm going to cover the whole top of the rock like that. Any kind of brush just to cover the whole rock. And I'm going to pick up the pansy again with my tweezer. I'm going to place it down on top of the rock very gently, very gently. <laughs> and I'm going to take some more Mod Podge and I'm going to put it on top of the flower just like that. And remember, fragile, just like the napkin. So you just want to be very gentle like that. Look how pretty it's adhering so nicely. But you know, it doesn't always, sometimes the petals kind of curl up. That's why we're going to use, that's right, saran wrap. I can put saran wrap on top of this just like I do when I'm using napkins and I can very gently smooth this out like that to make sure that the flower is lying nice and flat. And I'm just gonna peel it very carefully like that. And there you go. Look how pretty that is. Let's do another one. <laughs> okay, so um, this is a, a what I would call your typical pansy. What I think of pansies, this is the color combination. I think that bluish purple with the yellow. And again, I found a rock that fit really nicely um, for that size pansy. And I'm putting on my Mod Podge. And again, look how flat that flower is. It's like a piece of paper, but that's so important. All right, and I'm gonna take some glue again, the Mod Podge, and I'm gonna carefully go over it 
like that. I think this is one of my favorites. I absolutely love how this rock came out. All right, the whole thing. Just want to make sure it's adhered really well, but we're still going to go ahead and use some saran wrap and smooth it out just to make sure. Because I also don't want to have a lot of glue trapped underneath that flower either. And oops, okay. So when you're lifting, just like napkins, you just want to make sure that you find a spot where the napkin is not coming up, or in this case, the flower, along with the saran wrap. So let's take a look. Oh, that's really nice. I love that one. It's the same color combination as that big one. Now you can also do multiple blossoms and leaves on one rock like that. I just use smaller ones and put them all onto one rock. Okay, so now we've got the rock finished. Now we have to come up with a way to seal it. For sealing the flowers, the first thing I did is I put another top coat of Mod Podge on and then I let it dry. Now to get the shine, I had to do something that almost, I'm gonna say, preserve the flower. So first off, I did a spray of a clear sealant like Krylon or Rust-Oleum. I put that on top of the flower and I let that dry. Now there's two other products you can use. One is a 3D crystal lacquer and the other is a triple thick. Um, the 3D crystal lacquer is more of a pour and the triple thick is more something you would brush on. So you could do one coat at a time and let it dry. This takes time to dry and it's really more curing than it is drying. So you're gonna do a coat, leave it alone for like maybe 48 hours or so and check it. And if it's not sticky anymore, you can go ahead and put another coat on and maybe do two, three coats, whatever you want to get it as glossy as you want it to be. When you're done, you're just gonna do another spray of the clear sealant on top. So I guess the question is, how long are these going to last? How long are the flowers going to look nice? And I don't really know because I've only been doing it for a short period of time. However, the products that I chose, I'm thinking months. Um, I wouldn't go any further than that. Um, keep them out of the sunlight and keep them away from heat. And I think you're going to be pretty good. And you know, cut a bunch of flowers and press them just the way that I showed you because I had so much fun. I couldn't believe how many rocks I made. I just keep making them because they were just so pretty and it's not hard as long as you get the flower nice and flat. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have lots more videos that you can watch and lots more coming. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the little bell for future notifications. You can come on over and visit us at Decoupage Rocket Girls. That is a public page and you can join my group page as well. Thank you so much for watching.